Hello and welcome to Story Skeptic. This is another writing video, mostly for screenwriters. The last video I did on screenwriting was how to pick the right idea. And this is the next part about outlining. When you have found your story and have brainstormed some and you want to start writing, this is where outlining comes in. And this video will be about the process of outlining, especially my personal process. And hopefully you can learn something about it. It's the same process I've done for my three last projects. And I think it works really well and thus makes the writing process effective, predictable and enjoyable. Writing an outline is uh, incredibly hard and time consuming. And if you just imagine all the time you spend on writing a screenplay from start to finish, uh, I would say the top part here is the amount of time you spent on writing the screenplay. While this bottom part here will be the time you spent on brainstorming and outlining and preparing. This is certainly true for screenwriting, I think. It's probably not the case for something like a book where you spend quite a lot of time just writing the thing, uh, but it, it really feels true for screenwriting. I'm just showing you this so you understand actually how much time you're supposed to divide between actually writing and preparing to write. So then when you have uh, an idea, I do this. And I'm sorry it's in another language, but anyways, my handwriting is so awful that you it's difficult to read anyway. But the point is, this is only for you. It's just to help you uh, figure out the plot. Here at the top, I have a Congress by Cult, which is the title of the movie, or this was a 40-page screenplay, so a long short film. And at the side, you can see the acts. While I brainstorm, I just uh, this, it's just empty, and then I put on post-it notes as I go. And the last scene, I just written explanation uh, ending. So it's not like you have to have everything figured out at this stage. Then I would also advise to pitch it. Uh, that's what I did. I had a friend who loves movies and he came over and I just pitched him the story. And it's not just to get maybe some feedback and some help. It's also just to tell someone about your story. It's often enough just talking about it. You're going to realize, oh, that didn't sound that nice. Or, or maybe they're going to ask like, uh, uh, but what about that character? Oh, what about that gun? That doesn't make sense. They, they're probably going to point out something. And that's probably what I've done with these two white notes. I changed something that was uh, pointed out. So after I'd done this for a week or something like that, I transferred this to a Word document. This is another project. And again, if you can't read in a region, that's completely fine. It's just to show the concept of the outline. So I really like to have like one mood picture. Uh, this is what I think represents uh, the show or the film or whatever. And each of these paragraphs might include uh, more than one scene. And uh, this uh, document, which ended up being four pages, I spent a lot of time writing. This is where the bulk of my work goes into. And in this case, you want to be itching to write the first draft. It should be almost uh, a bit like you have to hold yourself back. But at the moment, at the point, you just have to go for it and just write the first draft. That's the first part of outlining I do. And I do outlining kind of two times. I do it once like this before the first draft and another time after the first draft. Before I start the second draft, I just like write out all the scenes on post-it notes or like just notes um, and put them out on the table or on the wall. Uh, I really like this part of the process. It's, um, it's very, very nice to do after the first draft because you don't have a nice uh, overview of the project. There's a lot of stuff and thoughts that pop up while you're writing, but you just keep on going. The process here is just that I read through the screenplay but as I read through, I write these post-it notes again. Uh, and this time I use, it's not like you have to have a typing machine. I just like to use it because it's, it's fun and it gives you the same font as you have in the screenplay. So I type out these notes, put them out, and you work your way through the screenplay, writing each scene into a sentence or a paragraph. Then you end up with something like this. And if it's a really long movie, it might be a lot more. And this is that 40 page screenplay. So if you were writing this for a whole uh, movie, it would be like 
three times as many notes. And then the really nice thing about this is that it becomes quite clear what's uh, missing. And instead of starting a second draft right away and removing scenes and writing new scenes within that draft, which can take a long time, writing a new scene on just a piece of paper takes like seconds. And it's so easy to move around. You can even like pull out the scenes. Uh, all these uh, notes to the left there are just pulled out from the story. I often like do this, add and take away. This whole way of outlining with post-it notes and especially physically on like a table or on a wall, I borrowed from Dustin Lance Black, who is an Oscar winning um, screenwriter. He does some really heavy research in these notes as well. But uh, I think the process is really helpful. And when I go back to write that second draft, I start on the top left corner and I just pick up that note and I tell myself, what's the point? Is it needed? Is there anything I can improve? And as I rewrite that scene, I try to do something with it. If you liked the video, like it and subscribe for more screenwriting tips. Uh, I make this every now and then. So anyways, thanks for sticking around and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.